Okay, now for my Poundland haul. Do excuse the state of me, I've been cleaning the caravan. Not sure what order these videos are going up this particular day. Um, so there might be a slight delay. I have got a queue of videos. It's when I get chance to go through them and ed edit them. Obviously, we have got our own internet service so um, in the caravan, so it's a lot easier to upload. Um, but I like to double check them as well. The guys have now gone to go and get the takeaway. It's in Kingsbury Village, so they're going to go and get that. And I thought I'd quickly um, share what I got from Poundland. Um, I hopefully you have enjoyed my Poundland, um, you know, sort of shop with me. It's been a while since I've actually videoed in Poundland, but. Um, Hopefully, you know, you might have seen something new. You may not. I don't know. So the first few things, this is when I was going for the cashier. You know me, I get these bags because I like them um, to put gifts in. Don't know. This is Tatty Bear. And I think this is gorgeous. Um, this is probably for our daughter-in-law. As you probably aware, I use these as gift bags, but also I've said this before with Easter baskets or even um, Christmas stockings, dare I say, I do roll these up like so, and sometimes I put a bow around them. I've said this a number of times, um, that's so that I can have the stockings back, especially if they have the stockings at our home and open all the gifts and everything then they can put everything in the bag and I can have the stockings immediately back. So that's for our daughter-in-law. For our eldest son, I have got Superman. I think they had Wonder Woman as well. So I think this is, well, it says new collection. So this is the Superman one. I haven't got the Wonder Woman. Maybe I should have picked some more up, but I knew I'd spent quite a bit um, in... Um, Poundland because they're not all Poundland items so that's that one so I'm happy with those um, I did have sausage rolls but we had those at lunchtime I think it was the Welsh um, sausage rolls and they were gorgeous you've probably seen again probably I don't know in the video previously or after this as I said I'm not sure what order they're going to come in um, I've got the What's It Sharing bag, um, hubby loves these, so I've got in just the real cheesy ones, but I also picked, and I like these ones, these are the sizzling steak ones, and they are a pound each. I also picked up some washing up liquid, um, needed this for a caravan in case we run low, um, which I think we are at the moment. Um, I've only got one can here and it's dripping a little bit because they were in the fridge. I put one in the fridge straight away when we come home, but we're limited for space. Um, these are the extra, um, extra taste, no sugar. These are actually the larger cans. These are 500 mils as the size of the Pepsi Max normal cans because I've got the berry ones from another Poundland. That is the normal size one, which is 330. So you can see the difference in size. And these were two for a pound also, as the berry ones that were this size were also two for a pound that I got early on in the week. But you can tell the difference. And um, I think there's a bit of miss with these. Um, I don't drink iron brew, but I did have a little taste of the other one because it's sugar free. And I felt it was fine, although I've I'm not one for drinking iron brew. Um, my son says it hasn't got as much taste as the full sugared one, but there you are. He'll drink it. It was cold, it was wet, so he said it wasn't bad. So, two of those for a pound. Um, you know me and jigsaws for a granddaughter. Yes, I brought another one. This one actually is Princess Castle and there's the pieces and um, I thought 45 pieces and I think that is really sweet so I think I've got about three or four now I've got one in the bag here that I got from the range at the beginning of the season because we thought she was going to come away with us 
and then due to the nursery closing for Covid she never did so um, we're taking that one home because that's a brand new one I'm not sure she's going to be able to come away with us now um, because when we go home we've got another two weeks and then we go to the farm which kids are not allowed so um, yeah we possibly will be having her um, in a about a week's time anyway to stop over so she can have a few of the pieces anyway so that is that one pound so I don't think they're too bad actually um, because I discussed with our daughter-in-law before we came away in case I've seen anything and we discussed educational pieces so I've got this one it's um, CBs, BBC, is that what you call it? Um, Colour matching puzzle, play and learn includes 10 puzzles. So it's these. So you've got like the purple and then the name purple. Um, you've got brown and green like that. So I thought that would be really good for her. Actually, it shows you better on the back so some of these pieces like this one and maybe a couple of the other bits she may have when she comes to stay with us this is the other one again for a granddaughter wipe clean fun again a pound comes with the pen and it's this one so she can start practicing the writing and things um, now pick one of the animals and doodle them in your home and then wipe and draw again so like things like this um, can you spot and circle and then it gives you like a fluffy dog and then you look on your page and you look so it's something she can also do with the parents as well so I think this is a really um, good item and it retails for $3.99 so that's that one and uh, something else we mentioned um, before we came um, when we went to see her and luckily in um, Poundland I found them was the Leap Ahead workbooks um, home learning made fun these are three to four years and I've got English and math so here's the English one so I think as I said these retail for $3.99 also so we've got English um, so I thought this was really good because you won't be starting school now until next year because of how our birthday falls so I think you know these are really good and I think some of these things can run quite expensive in um, places like WS Smith I don't know similar things and then it says at the back it says this reward certificate for English is awarded to name date and well done so there's that one even if they keep these up for next year and then we've got the maths one for her age three to four so it's got stickers in so I just thought these would be really good for her and things like this I'll uh, just give you an example who is heavier circle the heaviest animal so like that on the seesaw it says circle the lightest shopping bag so things like this do you know what I mean so and then it says circle the empty glass and the empty plate things like that so I think it's really good to start um, sort of um, learning then it says join the numbers um to the correct line of ants yeah. so there's that one so i thought that was really good um don't know if this is for our granddaughter our daughter-in-law i don't know but they're both mad on frozen and i know our daughter-in-law is mad on pops and i got frozen too i've got young anna and i've got young elsa and these were three pounds each which i didn't think was too bad for these because i know they vary from something like 6.99 9.99 sometimes 18 to 20 pounds um but these are the frozen ones they did have a lot more of the characters um they had um as i said the reindeer they had they had quite a lot but i just picked these two up I'm not even sure whether we've got them in our pan land at home, so that's why I picked them up. So there we are. Sorry for the reflection there. 
yes, I to tell you the truth, there's not a lot for me. I think it's for everybody else at the moment. A lot for our granddaughters, as I said, and getting those pieces. And I normally make her a little bundle up every time we go away, so she'd gone away for any length of time, make her a little bundle up, and especially as we're hopefully seeing her and she's staying overnight um, in about a week. I've got a meal planner and it's gold rim, you know, made to go with my um, you know, doodle pad and it's sort of lilac. I, you've probably seen these sort of things in um, my cubby and it's got Monday, Tuesday, all the days of the week and then it's got breakfast, lunch, dinner, um, maybe, I don't know the other bit, whether it's supper or what. So that's that one and that was a pound. I get through a lot of these when I'm doing my meal plannings and also I write down the meals. Um, that one, I think actually maybe three or four items of mine that one's mine and hubby said who is this one for and i says well it's three plus it it could be for talia our granddaughter or it could be for moi <laughs> it's ty which is really good this is the three pound item these can run five eight pounds in things like Smith's and a lot of the places because it's TY. It also happens to be an owl and it is this um, sort of which way should I do it? It's got like a, a pinky and black like that but then when you go up like that it's like gold so and I think it's so cute. Sometimes I think yeah it's for me but I can I'm not precious about it so I can leave it um, sitting around so our granddaughter can play with it as well so that's that one so maybe that's for Talia and me sort of thing so and much to her biz I was waving this as I was coming to the car because him and our son were sitting in the car and remember me saying I hope the gonks they have them out for Christmas da, 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 da. Much to hubby's um, annoyance, yes, I got two more. They had them, um, you've probably seen my video, they had them in pale pink. I've gone for these colours because I thought they were more neutral and could go anywhere. Maybe, you know, although I, I tend to have a lot of red round our home for Christmas anyway. So I've got these and these were three pounds each. Some of them didn't have the legs, but I quite like the legs because I like sitting them um, on a surface or something. Um, I don't know if you've seen them, but I've, the two um, sort of, I call them more um, autumn, but they are Halloween, sit on the shelf above Hubby where he sleeps. I'm surprised one of them hasn't fallen down. He's threatened to throw them in the bin, but I won't let him. So I've got that in like this gold and the cream. And then the other one, which, to tell you the truth, I suppose they could be used, especially this one all year round especially the grey one because that would go nice with our bedroom so I could use it straight away so that's the grey one I think out of the two I probably do um, like the grey one I was going to get a pale pink one but the only place I'll probably put that is in our um, in my cubby but I might still get a pale pink one um, for our granddaughter because I got uh, the mini one for Easter for Easter basket or um, box whatever I did this Easter so I might get her the pink one but that's the grey one and I say that is the gold one so yeah I've got four gonks now to go home so that concludes my um, Poundland haul very chuffed with what I got and I said I'm you know I'm very careful what I'm bringing into our home I'm trying to anyway unless it's gifts so I've got a fair few bits and I know they wanted to not up uh, um, date some of um, our granddaughter's pieces as well like colouring books, sticker books and things like that although I've got quite a few at home of those so I'm really pleased with those uh, um, English and maths they do them for all different ages so if you want to do anything like that and reinforce um, learning for your children try Poundland because as I said they had a big variety of different um, maths English I think they had science I'm not sure if they had any others but I seem to remember science and they'd have them for different ages so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye